I hate to see that community stressed because they worry that this kind of thing is becoming more common. Renton police arrested two teens who they believe carried out a crime spree that started at around 11.30 p.m. last night. First, a carjacking that occurred in the parking lot at an apartment complex along Petrovitsky Road. As police rushed to the scene, they got word of a home invasion at a nearby apartment complex, and the suspects matched the description of the suspects in the previous carjacking. Police say the suspects stole multiple items while holding a 12-year-old child at gunpoint. Responding officers say that on their way to the scene, the suspect's vehicle rushed past. It was later found in the side of a storage unit on Carr Road. Robert Onishi says it was a miracle no one got hurt throughout all of this. There are infinite places where this story could have gone horribly wrong. And it was bad enough as was, but at least we leave this with nobody hospitalized with serious injuries, nobody fatally injured, um, but the potential is definitely there. Detective Onishi went on to say that this is part of a concerning trend in regards to juveniles. We have definitely seen an uptick in alarming behaviors uh, amongst young people. However, Detective Onishi says that last night's crime spree, while extreme, is not common in Renton, and residents are still safe, but is concerned how last night will be received by the community. It's not an everyday occurrence. That's why it becomes such a point of interest. But you are now putting out this you know, terrible thing that happened to a number of different people, to a community that may now feel Oh, these things are going on. What's my level of safety? What can I expect as far as how my days are going to go? Now, Detective Onishi went on to say that although two arrests have been made so far, four people were actually found in the vehicle. And he says that more arrests could be made as the investigation progresses. But for now, we're live in Renton. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.